In this video, we are going to discuss cloud administrator roadmap for job seekers and especially for our members, how you are going to finish some of our courses and what type of roles can you apply when you are uh, learning about cloud administration. So the first thing I want to mention is that this type of roadmap is for people who are already working as an IT support professionals and you already know the basics of networking, domain networks, or for the people who are working as sysadmins, network engineers, and you're moving into cloud. And that is uh, what we think that you already have that sort of credentials or experience. If you don't have this type of experience, then we basically tell our members who are new to uh, IT, you have to start with a modern IT support career roadmap, work for six months in IT, and then move into transitioning skills roadmap, which is basically going to teach you uh, about systems and network administration. Now, even if you're working in, an, in IT and you don't have a, a good solid understanding of networking and uh, uh, domain networks such as Active Directory and servers, you still need to go through at least this roadmap, which is going to teach you all of that um, you know, information before you uh, select the advanced roadmap. That is just uh, because there's going to be too many hurdles for you when you're learning something more advanced in this type of uh, uh, roadmap. So if that is cleared, when you click on Start Journey, we have right now three courses available inside a uh, cloud administration roadmap. So the first one is generic cloud administrator. This course is kind of like a foundational uh, course for almost all cloud uh, technologies such as mainly AWS and Azure. But even in this course, we are gonna be targeting more Azure in the beginning because we want our members to finish cloud administrator course and then go into Azure technical skills for IT professionals. So the combination of these two courses is going to make you job ready for cloud sysadmin roles. If you're focusing on AWS side of roles, then you will finish the first course cloud administrator and then you can jump to the AWS cloud administrator, skipping this one because then this is totally about Azure side of technical skills. We have an advanced AWS course releasing soon. So if you visit back here again on this roadmap, you will see the advanced AWS uh, course as well in this area. So, but our focus today is cloud administration and then focusing on cloud systems administration or cloud administration position. So after finishing the first course and the second technical course, you will be applying to position like this, which is basically, it says Azure Cloud Administrator. Um, and if you look into this description, a company also specify you will collaborate with DevOps and cross-functional teams to optimize systems configuration, troubleshooting, and implement best practices. And that is what they have actually uh, uh, did a pretty good breakdown on responsibilities. Like, what is your goal? Like, you're going to be working on infrastructure side, which is kind of Microsoft Intra ID now, Azure ID is the, is the previous name. And then you have domain controller. So you see that domain controller um, uh, is a is an on-premises type of skills. And that is what, when we say that you need to take transitioning administration skills, that is what you are going to cover in this type of training, networking as well. And uh, then this is all about Azure. Azure Connect, uh, single sign-on, hybrid syn uh, synchronization, uh, you know, scaling, virtualization, all of that things that you are going to come across VPN, load balancing, VPN gateways, um, subscription. And then, you know, if you go down network understanding of TCP, DNS, and that's why we say that, you know, you need to go back to the transitioning skills if you're missing that. So this is where uh, companies are going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, they're going to tell you exactly what they're looking for in this type of positions. And uh, in some cases, these jobs may also have a little bit of DevOps touch in there. Like they may not be expecting to hire somebody like a full, uh, full-time DevOps engineer, but maybe this company is not that big 
and they're looking for at least somebody to have basic knowledge of that DevOps. And that is where you get these Dockers, uh, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and CICD, many other things that the DevOps uh, professional use. That's where you're going to have to learn that. And this is where when you learn all of that, that's where then you can understand when you come over here, it's, it gets a little confusing. Should I go with the architect? So if I click on this, I'm sure they're going to be putting a lot of DevOps stuff for this type of position. And you, as soon as you scroll down, you're going to start seeing some of the things will pop up right here. Like I'm just going to show you in in a few seconds. Here you go. So you see how quickly you can then figure out that, okay, no, you know what? I was not ready for this job. I am ready for more of the administrator level job. So you will have to find that job in these jobs. Sometimes it's a little mixture. Sometimes they say you don't have to be a full-blown DevOps and and if you feel like you have covered some of the DevOps side, then you can actually apply and maybe they will explain to you on the job. So this is exactly what we are doing. We are achieving from these two courses that when you finish the cloud administrator, this is going to be a lot of foundational and labs using practice labs. And this is going to be using your own on-demand access that you have to buy from Microsoft and you have to use your own um, uh, you know, uh, access for that because it, it, it gets into more projects. So... Let's go into the first course that how you need to finish it. And after that, we will discuss about the resume that how is the resume going to look like when you finish these two courses. So let's go ahead and start this course. Now in this course, you see, we are expecting that you're brand new to cloud technologies, but you're not new to IT. So we explained that in this video as well. Then on the left side, there's this important lab information. Then you can see it's about the cloud concepts and whether you're going for any type of cloud positions, this course is really going to help you break down a lot of the concepts in the beginning. And when you open the, the, the chapter, in the chapter, our partner videos are going to be there. So then there's going to be a lab. And then there's going to be, again, partner videos. And there's going to be multiple labs inside the chapter. So you're learning hands-on. And then on the left side, when modules start, these are all the lab systems. This is coming directly from the lab. So you're going to watch a video or a lecture for 29, 30 minutes, and then you're going to do a lot of labs. So even in the foundational course of our cloud administration, it's going to be very hands-on. And you have to finish 30 uh, modules just like that. So it's going to be a lot of hands-on practice over here. So once you finish this, you're not going to be a person who is going to be confused about what is cloud. You're going to already uh, uh, feel like you have warmed up and you know what you need to target now. The next course that you need to target in this then is going to be the technical course. And in this course, is not going to be theories, not a lot of explanations. It's just going to be, let's do something. So if you go into it, you see there's going to be uh, groups, PowerShell, how to use a PowerShell on, on Azure, Domain Controller, Azure Virtual Networking, VNets, VNet Pairing, VPN, so many things that you have to come across. And at the end, I want you to put a, a lot of attention over here. Then there's this, the DevOps side of a little bit of DevOps side that's touching all the way down here, the CICD, web apps, Docker's configuration. Now, this is the part where a lot of people are going to take you very serious. And that is what I'm going to show you in the resume. And then there's going to be the project where you're going to implement everything that you have done in this. There's going to be a project that you will follow the video and then you will try to do that. Now, keep in mind, our expectation from you is that you are already a technical person. So there's going to be a lot of things that you have to figure out on your own as well, because you will be using your own systems and you're going to have to find things and, and cloud changes a lot, portal changes a lot technologies changes a lot. So yes, it, this is the expectation from our end that if you are coming to make $100,000, keep in mind that you need your mindset has to be very open and you have to think and act like an IT professional over here, right? I don't have to really go into that for, for people who are going to be taking this course because you are not a, a new person getting into technology. So now let's talk about the resume, what type of resume you will be downloading in this first course. There's going to be a section and you will go through it and you will download this resume. It's going to look like this. Really nice, simple, classic resume. And we have been using the same format for almost every type of job. And it's just like, we think it's magic. People, people get jobs through it. So if you look at it, we are going to uh, target uh, areas that people are looking for. Like this is something IT manager, IT director, or the people who are technical and they just want somebody who have done some sort of hands-on stuff. They don't want anybody who's just going to, you know, 
drop a basic template which says I have done AZ-104, right? And that's not going to do anything. In most cases, that's not going to lead you towards that 80, 90, $100,000 job. It's going to be something like this where cloud administration, network administration, Office 365 administration, you have done this, this, and this from previous courses, from, from previous skills. And now you're adding cloud administration, DevOps, little bit of DevOps, Azure cloud documentation, then there is this uh, proficiencies that you have to defend. This is something you have you are covering in all these courses. So this is not like you're just dropping it out there. So when you finish the second course, you're going to finish uh, as your SQL, web apps, CI/CD, GitLab's, Docker's, and configuration management. And then you're if you don't have experience in uh, as a cloud engineer, you're going to put something just like this. You're going to copy this area because you have you're doing this from our courses. So there's nothing you're lying about or or making it up. Everything you are doing from the course, it's coming from the course. So it's really easy for you to defend it then. And then it's going to show this DevOps site as well. And then on the bottom, if you have more experience, like let's say you have help desk experience, networking experience, whatever job you have in IT, you're going to put that below this section. And then on the bottom, you're going to put uh, qualification. So from the first course, you're going to get certificate from the second one. And then you should put something like SG-104 that is ongoing, meaning you're going to get something more uh, official from Microsoft or CompTIA or some other big companies like, let's say, uh, AWS, whichever you feel like. I think that for this job, you definitely need to go with the Microsoft. When you have something like this, people are going to take you serious for that highly paid jobs. Not only that, you are going to feel very confident that whatever you are presenting in this resume is defendable and it's really easy for you to explain things and you have already prepared yourself through the courses. This resume should not be something that you look at it and you feel like, okay, I cannot uh, cover this X, Y, Z. Every single thing is coming from these two major courses that we have for cloud administration for Azure uh, specific titles. And after this, if you want to go into more Azure DevOps, then you should continue your research and training, and then this will automatically and naturally take you to the DevOps side of Azure, which then if you come over here, then a lot of these Azure jobs are going to be, um, you know, opportunities for you because most of it will be a mixed match of either administration level or it's going to be either totally about DevOps or some mixed match, and that's where your capabilities of landing more higher level roles are going to be enabled to you. But this is the start. This is where you can really make good money and get started with ease and not too much stress. You're not dealing with too much of DevOps and people are expecting that. People are people know that. They're putting their jobs out there right now. So this is your target in the beginning right now. So don't get these too confused because you will be going towards the DevOps later on in your journey. Thank